Warriors, and welcome back to another episode of CMTV, hosted by Terrell Henderson Jr. and Bailey Klein. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's lunch will be chicken popper bowl and chef salad. Next week, October 9th, Thursday, will be this freshman, sophomore, and junior pitcher day. Next week, Thursday, October 10th, we'll start our testing week. The testing week schedule is as follows. October 10th will be parent-teacher conferences, so there is no school. October 11th, there will be a district holiday, and there is also no school. The 12th and the 13th will be the weekend. Then, October 14th, we have no school due to Columbus Day. On October 15th, there will be Freshman State Testing Day, so sophomores, juniors, and seniors do not come to school. October 16th, it will be Juniors and Sophomores State Testing Day, so freshmen and seniors do not come to school. Then, October 17th, we'll resume back to regular school days. Now, for USPN with Erie Martin. What's up, Warriors? This is the USPN. We're your hosts, Nikayla and Al. Congratulations to our boys' soccer team last Saturday for finishing second place in the Rivals Cup Tournament at Matino High School. Our boys finished with a record of three wins, one loss, and one tie. Shout out to Omar Roma and Jojo Poku for earning all tournament honors. <laughs> On Monday, Evelyn Strozenbeck finished 10th overall in the Tenley Park meet at Midlothian Meadows. Congratulations. Also Monday, our varsity girls tennis team picked up the 4-1 to one win over TSL last night at home. On Tuesday, our girls tennis team picked up the program sweep as both JV and varsity both won their matches, three wins and two losses over Thornwood High School. Also on Tuesday, our girls volleyball team improved their record to 11-8 on the year and remained a perfect 6-0 in conference play over Thornton Township and Harvey. Keep up the good work, girls. Congratulations to all our Lady Warriors. Lastly, on Tuesday, our girls cross country team finished second overall at the meet yesterday. Evelyn Strozenbach and Aaliyah Eubanks continue to shine for the teams as they both finish in the top ten. Last Wednesday, Terrence Levins Jr. finished in second place in the IHSA Regional Tournament. Congratulations. Also, congratulations to Brent Milburn. Terrence Blevins Jr. for securing and qualifying the sectional tournament next week at Hickory Point Country Club in Decatur, Illinois. Please join us today for our football home game against Thorn Ridge High School. The game is planned to start at 6 o'clock p.m. Our game theme will be a pink out to support breast cancer. Come in your pinkest outfit! <laughs> Today is also our breast cancer walk. Join us and walk in honor of Denise Graney. It starts at 3.30 outside of Cree Moni. That's all for this week, Creek. Go Warriors! Now for our weekly weather report. This Saturday we are looking at a high of 76 and a low of 60. On Sunday the high will be 76 and the lowest we'll see is 54. On Monday a high of 67 and a low of 52. Tuesday will be a high of 70 and a low of 52. Wednesday will be a high of 71 and a low of 55. Thursday will be a high of 70 and a low of 55. That's all for the weather. Go Warriors! Now for this week's sophomore spotlight. What's up, Warriors? It's your host, Nikayla, and we're here with Sophomore Spotlight. Can you finish the lyrics? We have four contestants here, and we're going to see who can win. Are y'all ready? Okay. So, we're going to play the first song. Let 
Okay, y'all, we gonna do one more song. So, that's it for Sophomore Spotlight. I'm the winner. <laughs> On to the next clip. Today's quote is, Courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. This quote is unknown. This basically means that to go on even when you don't feel like you can do it anymore. That's all for Sophomore Corner. Go class of 27! We are currently in the midst of Hispanic Heritage Month. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month, Warriors. Hispanic Heritage Month started September 15th and ends October 15th. This week is Hispanic Heritage Month, Warriors. Here are three Hispanic people who made an impact in the world today. First is Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. She was born in New York City. Her degree is from Princeton University and Yale Law School. Through her determination and discipline, she continued to demonstrate resiliency and broke boundaries in 2009 and became the first Latina and third woman to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. Second is Sandra Cisneros, National Medal of Arts recipient. She is a leading Latina voice in literature. She is also a pioneer in the industry. She became the first Latin to be named a MacArthur Fellow. Lastly, Helen Rodriguez, she has advocated for women and children to have increased access to health care and for the abolishment, abolishment of forced sterilization. Through her career, she broke many boundaries and served as the American Pacific Health Association's first Latina president. We want to say thank you to all of these powerful people for the impact that they made on the world. Let's make sure to recognize our Hispanic warriors this month. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month, warriors! What's up, warriors? This is a video about the do's and don'ts of what you should be doing in the field house. This is not to police you, but just to make sure that y'all are following the rules. Bro, that test was so hard in Mr. D class, bro. Oh my goodness, I swear. What did you get? A 50. What did you get, Tariq? I don't even know. I think I failed. Oh, shoot, we gotta go to broadcasting. That is an example of what you shouldn't do, but here's what you should do. Correct. Hey, Xavier. Oh, hey. Bro! Bro! <laughs> that is another example of what we shouldn't do. Make sure we're watching our surroundings. Let's limit the horse. What you call an ocean full of Fanta? What? Fantasy? <laughs> Okay, why did the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the other side! No! <laughs> this is another don't. This is very disrespectful and rude towards the cheerleaders. Do not put your feet on the mat. Again, this video is just to remind you guys of what you guys should and should not be doing in the field house. Go! Go! Remember, today is the breast cancer walk and pink out football game. As we speak, you're probably sitting in your hero period watching this video right now. Did you enjoy this week's news? Well, if you did enjoy this week's news, we encourage you when you have some free time to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to at CMTV Warrior News. We would also like for you to do the same with our Instagram and go subscribe to at CMTV Warrior News. That's all for today, Cree. Go, Go Warriors! Warriors! Hey.